hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will make an image gallery and we will also learn about css reflection here on this web page i have created a 3d image gallery and at the bottom you can see reflection of each images this image reflection makes this image gallery design more beautiful so before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's start this video here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file and one folder with images. Here I have added 10 image. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor. So this is the HTML file. I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. And in the HTML file I have added link tag to connect the HTML file with the CSS file. Next we will write the code in the body tag so here we will create one div with the class name hero and let's use this class name in the CSS file. For this one we will add the CSS properties like width and height and background. It will be black color. So I am adding triple zero. Overflow it will be hidden. After adding this, open this HTML file with web browser and you can see the dark color on the complete web page. Next come to the Google and search for jQuery Flipster. Open this website. You can find this link in the video description also. You can see the creator name over here. From here just download this zip file. Now let me drag it here. I will extract this zip file. Open this folder. And here you can see folder called dist. In this dist folder you can see these files. Just copy this one, these two files and paste it in your project folder. jQuery, Flipster, min.css and min.js these two files now we have to connect these files in our html page so just come back to the html file and here in the head tag we will add the link rel style sheet and file name which is jquery flipster min.css now come to the bottom before this body tag write a script and src and add the jquery file here it is min.js now just come to the google again and search for jquery cdn Open this link. Here click on this any link and just copy this one. And paste it here. Make sure you add this jQuery CDN before the flipster. Now just come back to the div again and here we will create another div and let's add one class name carousel. In this one I'm adding ul and li and let's add one image with img tag and the source and file path which is images slash image file name. Let me duplicate this line and we will add the different image in each img tag. So we will add total 10 image. So I'm changing the image file name. And now we have total 10 image. Next I will refresh the website and you can see this image it is too big. And right now you can see only one image. So let's come back and copy this carousel. Right here hero then carousel. Here we will add width of 300 pixel and let's add margin 100 pixel auto and zero. Then write overflow visible. After that come to the github again and you can see this script here just copy this one. Come to the html file and paste it here at the bottom before the closing body tag like this. Next just copy the class name carousel add it here in this script. 
dot carousel like this now refresh the website and you can see these images in a form of gallery we can click on any image so it will change the image if i click on the next image next image will come in the center now let's come back and in this flipster we will add style it will be carousel and let's add spacing i will add minus 0.3 after that i will refresh the website again now you can see the perfect size and spacing for these images in this gallery so this image gallery is working fine next we have to add the image reflection on each images and the image reflection will come at the bottom so let's come back to the css file copy this class name carousel write it here then write img for individual images here we will add webkit box reflect below so it will reflect the image below the main image you can see the same opacity for the reflection also and it is close to the main image so let me add some space here so i am adding 20 pixel and after that you can see some space between main image and reflected image next we will change the opacity so the reflected image opacity will be less so let's come back and in the same line we will add linear gradient then write the first color code rgba 255255 and 255 and 0.1 let's copy it and paste it again with a comma here we will write 0.3 that's it after applying this save these changes and refresh the website now you can see the perfect opacity for the reflected images and this image is working fine so this is how we have easily created this beautiful 3d image gallery with image reflection i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video